Hey guys, Min here. So today I am going to review the Meitian Weekend Travel Backpack. This was sent to me by Meitian and to review. So all the opinions are my own and they have not been reviewed by Meitian before I publish this video. So let's get started. So what's special about this backpack? Well, um, this is a weekender backpack. That means that I am supposed to be able to fit my weekend clothes into this backpack and I don't need to carry a carry-on bag or a hard case luggage. Now, the dimension of this bag is around 19 and a half inch this way, 13 and a half inch this way, and also the thickness is around six inches thick. Now what's surprising on the website is that this thing's supposed to be able to expand up to 40 liters in capacity, which it doesn't look like 40 liters. Just to put it into comparison, my last bag review, it's around 38 liters. And this thing doesn't look that big. Oh, if you want to take a look at that video, check it out here. So you do some quick math of the size dimensions that I just said, 19 and a half, 13 and a half, and six inches, that brings it to about 1579.5 cubic inches, which is around 25.8 liters. Okay, round up 26 liters. That's not close to 40 liters. So I don't know how this bag will be 40 liters. Maybe there is a way to stretch it that I don't know yet, but let's, Check it out. All right, this bag comes in three different colors, black, navy, and purple. It also comes with lifetime warranty, and the price is around 46 to $57, depending on what color you choose. So let's open this sucker up and see what it looks like. One thing I already noticed is that there's a lot of zippers, which I love zippers. And if the zippers comes in with good management, Oh, look, which it does. It comes in with very nice management of space here. Some back here, a little uh, net space here. This has a little padding, so maybe even put in um, iPad or a laptop or something here. Okay, so let's go into this, the main compartment. Oh, ah, there's some clips. And let's go into the main compartment here. All right, the main compartment is huge. Oh, oh, this is something. I see. There, this is cool. Check this out. Now, the six inches is when it's zipped up. There's another layer of zipper here that actually expand this thing up. So now, Oh, this is cool. So let's check this out really quick. With that space increase, so that is up to maybe another half an inch or so. So I can see a potential of bringing it up to potentially be 40 liters, I guess. So there's an expansion zipper and that's probably how it is getting into 40 liters. Okay, so once it opened up, there is a mesh pocket here, large mesh pocket, and then there's this um, compartment for regular storage. Now the inside of the regular storage, there is some tie down strap. So let's fill it up. So I got my, okay, single thing, all right. Now, um, let's do, all right, so I got my first aid kit and my toiletry bag. Um, you can fit in here. I could probably fit a lot more things in here. And that's a lot of space. I still don't see this as being 40 liters, but okay. I can see it being more than 26 liters, but 
40 liters, I think it's gonna be a stretch. So in the back, you got some padded things, are not super padded, but it's a little flat. But here, in this zipper, I think this is where the, here it is. This is where the backpack strap is. So the backpack strap uses these little, wow, these are really well-made hooks. Okay, so the reason why I say this is well-made hook is because my e-bag that I've been using for the last maybe six, seven years, they have a very similar design using this, but instead of metal, it's actually plastic. So these metal just seems much tougher and probably longer lasting. That's pretty cool. All right. So that is pretty cool. Yeah, because I don't have enough stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and zip up the inner zipper so it compresses it down a little bit and then also you have the straps here to compress it even more so it'll be tighter on your so you don't have that open space that's pretty cool I do like that there's a handle here so you can hand carry it like this and also I'm gonna grab a laptop and see if it fits well, let's try this one. This is the 14 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, let's see if it'll fit into the front pocket. It fits just fine actually. And it feels protected as well. All right, so check this out. There's also a connection here. So you can actually put it in your back back here and we can connect this thing together to give, relieve some strap stress relieve some stress here uh, it's actually it feels pretty good okay and the last thing is that does have a handle strap so that means that you can actually slip this backpack onto a carry-on a roller handle so it'll slip right in Oh no, this is a pretty well constructed bag with the smooth zippers, the number of pockets from the front and also the main compartment, and of course the tightening strap and also expansion zippers available to grow this into a much, much larger bag. Uh, however, you know, the 40 liter capacity, your mileage may vary on that one. So, but other than that, uh, this is a well-built bag for the weekenders. Uh, I would love to see what their specialized bag would look like from Maytan because, I mean, like I said, from the construction of the, the latches and the zippers and also this clips here, it makes me wonder. For me personally, this is probably not going to be my every weekend travel. Uh, just because I am a very technical guy that carries a lot of technical gears and this one single compartment is not going to fit my personal need. But uh, for those of you that travels and don't want to travel with a hard case and just simply want a backpack, this may be a good fit for you. So for the price under $60, I think this is a pretty good deal. If you have any questions about this particular luggage, please let me know and leave it on the comment below. And um, I guess that's it. So I'll see you next time. Bye.